Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing to repot some of my plants for spring. If you haven't seen the last two videos of me doing some repotting, you can check it out here. I know a lot of you guys really like when I do these sit down repot videos, so I'm hoping that you're enjoying this spring repotting session that I've been doing for the last few weeks. I'm just really going through my collection and repotting the plants that need it the most right now. I'm definitely focusing on the plants that are in pots that are smaller than six inches because honestly, I don't have anything on hand that is bigger than a six inch pot. So today I have three plants that need to be up potted and I have one plant that is a propagation that I want to pot up. And I'm going to be potting up everything in my soil free potting mix right here. The first plant on my to-do list is my Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor, this one here. This is how it looks. The lighting in here is making it look way brighter than it actually is. It's definitely a little bit more vibrant in person, but I have a really large studio light right here that's shining on me. So it is making the plant look a little lighter than what it is. I've had this plant for a few months now, maybe like six to eight months. It's obviously outgrown its little pot. So I want to get it out of this older potting mix and upgrade it to a five inch pot. Hopefully I can just easily pull this out of here without losing too many roots. So I lost a few, but I'm not really too worried about it. I don't want to disturb the roots too much on the plant. So I'm just really just shaking off some of the excess. I definitely want to pot this in a five inch pot this time. It just wasn't a four inch um, and it quickly outgrew it. So I want to get it into the five. This is a five inch clear pot that I saw on my shop. This one is actually damaged. You can kind of see right here on the top part, it's damaged. Sometimes that does happen with the batch of pots that I get, they get damaged in shipment and that's fine. Usually I just keep them, but I definitely think the next batch, if I do get some more damaged ones, I'm going to just sell them as like cosmetically damaged uh, pots basically, and just list them as a cheaper price because I know that like something like this isn't gonna bother everybody. So maybe we can do something like that in the future where I just sell them at a cheaper rate. One of my favorite Syngoniums ever. I am just so obsessed with this plant. I know that I talk about it a lot. It's just such a beautiful plant and I just love the tricolor. It has a dark green, light green, and a pink, which I think is a beautiful combination. I really want this plant to get more mature and bigger. So hopefully giving it a bigger pot will increase some of the growth. It actually does have a new leaf coming in in here. Overall, this plant is very easy and I think it is worth it if you are a Syngonium lover like me. There's a lot of Syngoniums out here that don't get enough credit. I definitely think it's a staple to have in your Syngonium collection. It's really beautiful and super easy care. So here's how it's looking in its new pot. I'm hoping that this plant grows much faster now especially now because it is spring and honestly it feels like summer here in New Jersey I don't know about you guys but it has been quite warm the last few days um, I know I'm in a long sleeve because today is actually not that warm I don't know it's just super weird like last week was like in the 80s and stuff like that but today is like in the 60s so I do have my long sleeve on because I'm a little cold but yeah the weather has definitely been getting better and I'm really excited to see how the plants do because since it's been getting hotter like outside obviously my apartment's getting warmer and it's causing my ikea greenhouses to get hot as well majority of my personal collection is in my ikea greenhouse cabinets and all year round i leave them in there and the temperature pretty much stays at like 70 degrees or sometimes higher in there um, because we like to keep the heat on here like really high so whatever it is like in the house affects the greenhouse and the other day when it was like 80 something degrees it was really hot in here we had the ac on obviously but the mills bow cabinet was like 89 degrees and i had to like leave it open so so yeah my plants really don't know the difference between you know winter and summer and all that stuff definitely the warmer it is um the more humid it gets in the cabinet so they definitely do better so yeah i'm excited excited to see the growth for this plant this spring and summer. I think it's really going to take off and hopefully we can get some nice mature leaves out of this guy as well. Next plant I want to repot is this little seedling here, which is kind of not really a seedling anymore. It's growing a lot, also growing out of the pot here. This is a Regal crossed with a Crystallinum. I'm pretty sure. I know it's for sure Regal, but not so sure about the Crystallinum. I think it's a Crystallinum, probably. Definitely did get this at one of the Equigenera pop-ups a few months ago as well. 
Lately, they've been having a lot of the hybrids. I definitely try to snag the hybrids now while I'm attending their events more than anything else because, you know, it's not every day that you find an anthurium hybrid in person. That's why I grabbed it, but um, it's definitely been growing really slow and that's probably because I definitely like neglect all of my seedlings. I don't know why, I just like forget about them, like I forget that they exist. So this year I've been trying to pay attention to my plants a little bit more. I've definitely been overwhelmed and I have a lot of things going on like with my regular job. Um, you guys know I do work a regular corporate job. I have a lot of things just like personally and then also like I'm running the shop and stuff like that too. I'm actually very excited because I have a lot of really good stuff coming up for the shop this year and honestly i can't wait to share everything with you guys um like everything that i've been working on and things like that i'm really excited i just want to make sure everything gets finalized first before i say anything and get anybody's hopes up and things like that but i have definitely been working really hard this year and when i say working hard i mean that like just working on myself i think i feel that 2023 this year is going to be a really good year for me from 2022 up until now has been such a journey for me in terms of growth and i just feel that i've really grown as a person in the last like year and some of the things that i do now i would have never thought that i would be doing today like this for instance like youtube i never expected myself to be sitting here in front of a camera like talking to you guys or anything like that definitely grown a lot i have a lot of good things coming up and things planned so yeah i've just been really working hard and i'm super excited to share some stuff with you guys in the future but yeah just stay tuned because i have some really fun stuff coming up for the shop like new products stuff like that um, some other ideas and things that are happening as well definitely been busy working on myself but i've definitely been in a better headspace because i'm able to like really focus on my plants and the shop plants feeling like taking care of the plants is such a chore that i just don't want to do it i think i'm in a really good place now i think i've got everything under control plant care doesn't really overwhelm me when i say that like i'm overwhelmed it's like not really overwhelmed but like more just like i have a million things going on in my head all the time i'm a perfectionist i also have anxiety like you know I just got I just got a bunch of stuff like in my head all the time you know I've definitely developed a better relationship with my plants and appreciating what I have and not stressing myself out over like the chores and stuff like that which is like why I'm not forcing myself to like repot like all the plants as soon as like the roots come out and stuff like that like the plants are fine I'm really just taking my time with stuff so that I can like continue to enjoy my plants so yeah that's really just what's been going on with me um I don't know if anybody else can relate but yeah that's what's been going on with me so this is this one here looking pretty good I'm excited for this one to grow much bigger now because even though this is a hybrid I had a regal in the past and it was doing so well you guys it was growing beautifully and then we went on vacation last year we went to mexico for like a week and um i did have like a friend come over and like um uh, take care of my cats and like my plants and stuff it ultimately died because obviously i wasn't there to like baby it pretty much and it just sucked and then i just never decided to get one again especially not like a big one from aquagenera because i just know my heart was going to be broken sometimes growing them from like little seedlings is a little bit more fun than growing a big massive one. So I've been really enjoying the experience of growing plants from small to large. Next plant that needs some attention is this Monstera Obliqua Peru. This guy is on a moss pole and he's been growing for a really long time. You can kind of see the roots have completely taken over the little four inch pot. So I need to get it off of the moss pole first. There's actually a leaf growing inside of the moss pole. That is actually really annoying when that happens. <laughs> so hopefully we can get it out without breaking it. All right, well, it looks like it got damaged a little bit, but we'll see what happens with it. It just came right out and the plants are a little moist because um, they did get watered I think last night actually. Um, I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit so that it can have some room in the new pot. And this one is also gonna go in this five inch pot as well. 
and just give it a little bit more space. I don't really like upsizing too much on the plants because every time I've like put a plant in a pot that was like two size bigger or something, I like end up having issues. So I don't wanna do that. I usually just go one pot size up depending on like how much it's grown obviously. But, but yeah, I just like going one pot size up. That's what I prefer. So the moth pole is still like intact. So I'm just going to put it back in here and I'm just gonna reattach the plant. Hopefully it doesn't grow any more leaves inside of the pole because that is so annoying when that happens. I'm just happy this plant is actually putting out leaves and not runners, so that's always good news. This plant is infamous for runners. It had one here, but I cut it, so it's non-existent to me now. I have a question for you guys. I'm very curious because I know that a lot of people do things differently. When you repot your plants, do you only repot them in the spring and the summer and leave them alone in the winter? Or are you somebody who repots all year round on like an as needed basis? I repot plants all year round. I just repot them as needed because my plants don't really know the difference between the seasons. The only reason I'm doing this spring repot is because all of these plants have been in their pot for like literally six months to a year. So it is just time for me to just get it done and over with. And I just figured if I'm going to repot one, I might as well repot them all. So that's how I'm doing it this year. But if they start outgrowing it in the next few months, I'm going to repot them again. But I like to just see what other people like to do and like why you like to do it that way. I feel like that's kind of like a sensitive topic in the plant community, like when to repot your plant. For me, when it comes to my plants, I just do what I want and I feel that anybody should just do whatever they wanna do. I've never really been the type to like look on Google and follow like instructions on how to do plant care. Taking care of plants is trial and error and you don't know until you find out really. When I first started my plant journey, I had no idea what I was doing. I don't think any of us did and yeah, Yes, you can like look for advice and stuff like that online just like general ideas and stuff the things that I've learned were just from me just testing things out and figuring out my own routine and figuring out what works for me so if you're like a beginner and you're trying to figure out what to do just do what you want to do don't let anybody tell you that you can do this you can't do that just do whatever you want and I feel like you'll be happy and you'll have a more pleasant plant collector experience because it definitely gets overwhelming seeing all that information out there and like Facebook groups like they will literally like hound you if you have a question and stuff like that do what works for you because at the end of the day it's your plants your money you can do whatever you want to do so yeah I like to repot my plants when needed it's just at this moment all my plants need to be repotted so why not just do them all at once <laughs> so here's the obliqua here as you can see it's got a new pot and I put it back on that moss pole. I don't have the moss pole filled all the way because it only has one node and it's at the bottom down here. So like I can just easily come back and fill this later. I'm not really worried about it. So hopefully we can continue to get these leaves and no runners. Next plant is a propagation. This is my Philodendron Glorious. This was a top cut that I took. I sold the rooted bottom and I sold the mid cut. And so here is how the top cut is doing. So I think it's been a few weeks, almost a month maybe. And I've kind of just forgot that I even had the plant, but it's got a ton of roots. So I'm honestly just going to skip the four inch pot and go right to the five. And I'm also gonna be putting this guy on a moss pole as well. It's just better to get them on a moss pole sooner than later. Cause I do want this plant to size up so that I can keep cutting it. So I'm just securing it to the pole so it doesn't move. And we're just gonna pot it right up. The Glorious is a very easy care plant. It is a hybrid between the Milano Chrysum and the Gloriosum. I will always recommend the Glorious over the Milano Chrysum. So if you are looking for this plant, I highly recommend it. It is way easier than the Milano Chrysum. Something about the Milano is that it is a very finicky plant sometimes. The Glorious is way easier to deal with than the Milano. So if you're deciding between the two, I would always recommend the Glorious. I think it looks beautiful. The leaves size up as well. 
Um, it takes more of the trait of the Milano, so it climbs up a pole instead of growing like a crawler like the Gloriosum, so it doesn't take up that much space. But it's really beautiful. The leaves are velvety. They look beautiful in the sun. And we love an easy care plant. Filling the moss hole with the potting mix as well. The reason I do this and not moss is because I've said it a million times. I don't like moss. I don't like really dealing with it. Um, I like doing this because the aerial roots will grow into the same potting mix that the plant is already in, making it a much easier propagation when it's time to cut it. So if you're giving the aerial roots already the substrate that you're going to pot it into, you can simply just stick it right into the substrate and get it growing like that. That's why I like to do it this way, just for like propagation purposes, I feel like it's just, you know, I know that I'm going to at some point probably put the plant back in the potting mix. Every time I would use moss and cut the plant and it had moss roots and I had to transition it into like a potting mix or pond or something, I would always completely lose those aerial roots that I achieved because transitioning moss to something else sometimes for me is really difficult. So I just prefer doing this method instead. And I feel like the roots don't get as tangled like they do in moss. That's one thing that I really hate dealing with is like untangling moss roots. I feel like that is like torture. <laughs> so here is the glorious here. It has these two beautiful leaves and it has one actually on the way in the middle there. We've had these on the shop several times. I'm definitely trying to bring more of these to the shop um, whenever they are available as well. I know some of you guys have been asking me about them, but hopefully for the next big restock, we could have some really nice uh, philodendrons and anthuriums this round. Hopefully we can get some really large leaves out of this plant really soon. When I first got this one, it was actually kind of small. so. So the leaves definitely have sized up. I would like it to get a little bit bigger and to have it like probably start growing in the big greenhouse in here so that I can just have it out in the open and just have it grow like really tall. Here's all the plants you guys. We are done for today. I am feeling very proud of myself that I'm getting these repots done. I feel like having a YouTube channel is definitely helping me get some of these repottings done because honestly I would just let them go because I really hate repotting plants but I'm really happy that I'm getting around to repotting these plants because they really need it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.